Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today, I'm going to be playing Tyra in the new patch, OB40. Hi. I haven't played her at all yet, not in the actual release. I played her a bit in PTS. I don't have, like, any customization things for her. I've got my loadout done. It's a little bit different than last time, so if you're here for that, you can go ahead and use this if you want it. It's what works for me. You're here for her kit. That's what it is. I already made a video kind of previewing her, and they didn't really change her kit all that much or at all i don't think so if you want to see the kit there it is i already know what it is and i'm not going to go over it again for those of you guys that have already seen the other video but just gonna be doing a casual game giving you sort of my first impressions and feel for her i really like the new changes they've done with like the ui and stuff the store looks really pretty i gotta say um i really wish i could buy a booster because the boosters are proving to be incredibly useful for what they are and just like this champion screen They've just done a great job. Like, every patch, I feel like this game has improved a little bit. This shop is a little bit too filled with items, but that's just my opinion. It's quite difficult to, like, pick anything out that you like here. But obviously, if you play a specific character, you'll just go to the Champions page anyway, which is pretty damn pretty already. But we're playing Tyra. Like I said, I've customized pretty much every character I have now. Like, a ridiculous amount, and I'm really, really happy with that. It's so much easier to do now, like, just going to your customized page and just picking out everything. It's really cool. Look at look at Buck looking like a baller with the freaking metal outfit and the glasses and the blue shotgun and stuff. I really like this game. I'm probably going to be making more videos on it. If you guys want to see them, just let me know. The patch notes are here. If you haven't read them, you can just go to this page. It's like on the front bit of Paladins here. I just love the art that they do for this game. Like that that page right there for patch thirty patch forty. It just looks so cool. Tyra's design is probably my favorite design yet, other than Androxus because. I love Androx. It's the one thing that I don't really understand 100%, and it wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, is this thing. Hold on, I don't have one for Androxus. Who do I have one for? Okay, sprays. I think they're ability skins or card skins, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't really know what they are, and when I looked into the patch notes, I couldn't really find any information about them. Because I recently opened 30 Radiant Chests. I recorded it, but I didn't get anything good, so I'm not going to post the video. But I had 30 Radiant Chests from the Founders Pack, and I opened them all. And I got a few of them. Um, these chests are really cool. If you do have, like, gems, I'd recommend opening these. You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Fuck it. Let's let's do it in the video. Why the hell not? What we going to get? Epic. Oh, shit. That's really cool. That's an epic. Fucking nice. I like Buck quite a bit at the moment, so that's really cool. I like the black one. I like the white one, too. Let's see if we can snipe Tyra, because I know somebody's going to be trying to get her. She's been out for, like, a day or two. Tyra. Ah, we got it. Oh, that entrance is cool. So we don't have anything for her, because the only thing that has changed is, like, the little thing around her hair. And the blue one, for some reason, they make special. I don't know why. It's like this, like, a huge middle finger, because, like, here we go. You've got the green one. Yeah, you can get that with gold. You got the, the red one. You can get that with gold too. Well, the, the pink one, sorry. And the blue one, uh, not available. Well, that's kind of greenish blue, but you, you get what I mean. Like the blue gun, not available. They're all uncommon, but the blue ones, for some reason, like you can't just go out and get. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying because obviously I want the blue ones, but she looks awesome by default with like the red and just everything. She looks cool as hell. So we got an Eevee, a Kinesa, a Drogoth, and a Makoa or Drogoz. Whichever one, it doesn't really matter. Against a Victor, Charlene, Androxus, Fernando, and Grover. So they don't have a Tyra. I haven't seen too many people play her. I've got the I've got the Founders Pack now, so I, I think I get all the new characters by default, hair. like it is with the Smite Pack. Oh, just the sound and the effects. Oh, that noise. That gun noise is so good. Uh, I don't think there's been any changes to the item shop. Let's see what I should get. Should I get should we just get Cauterize? Sure. Yeah, let's get Cauterize. Just that... Oh, the noob tube noise as well. I didn't have my audio on very loud in the PTS, so I couldn't really hear stuff, especially because I was talking a lot more, but this is much more relaxed. And just listen to this noise. Just listen. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's like a suppressed gun noise, but at the same time, it's not. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, you can also... That's another thing they've changed. In the bottom right right now, you can see the tier of the card you have. That's really cool. It's a tiny little change that makes a huge difference. Haven't seen what she looks like on a mount. I like the fact that you can see the bear. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame that there's not a frosty skin for her. Would love to see one. This is really cool. This is my first game with her, as I said. So I'm not expecting to do too well. I'm expecting to do fine. Let's mark someone. Oh, God. I shouldn't be fighting at such a far range, I don't think. I think I'm meant to get kind of close up and personal. The recoil is a lot easier to manage than I was expecting it to be. I noticed that straight away. Obviously, Victor's a little bit different. He's going to be aiming down the sights and just... 
doing that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this point. Because we don't really have a frontliner. Like, I picked Tyra first. Makoa's meant to be our frontliner, but they have, like, a Grover and a Fernando who are a pain to get off the point. Let's go right into battle. I'm meant to be this close, I think. Oh, God, she's so fucking good. Oh, she's so satisfying to play. Oh, my God. She's way more fun to play than I was expecting. Oh, like the gun noises and then, like, the little dinks when you get headshots and stuff. And that, it's just, I'm really liking this so far. Excuse me if I'm coming off a little bit too excited, but this is kind of exactly what I wanted it to be. I know I've heard, like, your guys' opinions in the comments and on social media and stuff, and you guys seem to really like it too. Oh, it's just like when you mark your target, it feels like you've marked a target, if that makes sense. And it's really hard for you to explain unless you play her. Um, I think Paladins is coming to console too, so those of you guys that play on console, you should have Paladins soon. I think you can beta test it at the moment. I don't have a console, so I can't do that. This is a new map, by the way. I don't know if you've seen this. It's really pretty. The water effects are really nice. Like, really, really nice, to be honest. There's no movement on it. Um, but obviously, this game is still in, like, beta, so... Oh, I'm very excited to use the ultimate. I'm really, I'm really liking her so far, to be honest. A lot of fun. Oh, God. Did I, hit him? I hit him with a noob tube. I, I noob tube the fuck out of him. Let's see this. What's it look like to get, like, to fight against the Tyra? Oh, the noob tube looks like it hurts. Should we pick up Master Riding? I want to pick up Master Riding. That might be a bad decision. But I want to be able to get into the fight, like, a lot faster, so. Let's go. She rides the horse like a badass. We can make that jump now. Nice. Fire. I haven't been using it as much as I probably should be. Nailed. Oh, God. She is crazy. They said it on the patch note. She really can pump out motherfucking damage so quickly. And I play quite a few, like, first-person shooter games. So my accuracy isn't terrible. I guess if you're not used to it, like, if you're used to just playing Smite, it might be a little bit more difficult, but... I'm finding it quite easy to play, which is good. Also, they changed the health bar, so it's like red when it's low, and then it goes blue when it's full. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, so it deals a lot less damage if you don't directly hit people with it, obviously. It's just the fact that you get vision. You get vision, which is just so useful in this. Oh, nailed! Fucking, I'm so low. Oh, luckily throwing your fire out doesn't, like cancel your regen. I love that little health bar change. It's a tiny little thing, but it's like from the corner of my eye, I can now see when I'm low health. That's really good. And just the detail on her gun is really nice too. Overall, really like her so far. Got not a single complaint. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to push this. Does that go through the... F I Holy shit, that deals so much damage. I freaking underestimated her healing, because it is not her healing, her, her E. Because it is, like, percentage-based, so... Oh, my lord. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It's so much fucking fun to play her. I wish, I wish we were pushing the objective, though, because it doesn't seem like anybody's actually doing it. Um, let's get life rip. I think life rip's a good decision. I, as, like I said, I said it in the video where I first talked about it. I don't think it matters all that much what cards you go for. I went for Master Riding just because I wanted to get to the point quicker, but we kind of failed the push. I just like, you really want to try and get headshots, that's for sure. It's just the noise. It does seem to be like a sort of, it's like straight up, but then the bullets do spread a little bit. Like, look, hold on. I'm not moving my mouse at all right now. So like, you could see it goes straight up for the first few shots, and then it kind of just goes a little bit everywhere. So if you're going to like fight at a distance, oh, I've already got the hang of that. I've already got the hang of like, Okay, see, it's it's not too hard to play her, which I like, because if they made her really difficult, she'd feel completely different to all the other characters. But you can easily, like, control that sort of thing. You fire a bit slower, obviously, and at a longer range, you want to use it like that. But holy crap, she's really, really fun to play. I wasn't expecting her to be this, like, enjoyable, I suppose. I don't know. Possibly my new favorite Paladins character. I need to get used to using that fire properly, though. And also, using my own tips that I just gave you guys, because I'm not using them very well, at all. Ah, oh, this is tough. Who are we marking? Him? Okay. Oh, God. Let's throw fire on the point. That's the whole point of using the fire, isn't it? I like how it stays on the ground even after you die, because it is fire. I think they changed Maldamba's Q to do that as well, but I'm not 100% sure. 
I think the healing thing might be a little bit different. But I feel like for something that just does straight up damage, it's nice to have it just stick on the ground. Let's get Haven. Get complete. Oh, wow, they're going to capture that point. We haven't even tried to contest that. Okay, that was a little bit odd. Don't know what happened there. Oh, she's definitely not for range, though. Definitely not for range, unless you're, like, landing the last few hits to kill someone. Holy crap, that's not easy. But you do get a little indicator when you hit people, which is nice. Like, you get a little bit of a vibration, but not only that, you get, like, a little actual visual indicator when you land hits, like a hit marker. Well, exactly a hit marker. Oh, God, nailed. Uh, should I ult for this? I kind of wish I got the, what's it called, the shield counter. I haven't played this game in, like, a week, by the way. I've been away. Oh, is that going to go where I want it to go? I'm still not used to using the fire at all. I'm really not used to using the fire, but I'm... I'm all right with the aiming and just the gun in general. This Eevee doesn't really seem to know what she's doing. Maybe I'm just being mean for no reason. Enemy is unstoppable. Who is unstoppable? The Victor's unstoppable. Okay. I still think I might prefer Victor to her, though. I'm not sure. Victor's a lot of fun as well. That doesn't seem to be working properly. It seems to be, like, going a little bit further than where it actually seems to land, if that makes sense. Like, where it looks like, like, where it, looks like it should land, it's going a bit further than that. Because that looked like it was straight on. Careful. I bite. Oh no, it's definitely like that. It's only tiny. But like, if you're throwing it over a big distance, it lands a little bit further than where it looks like it should land. This looks weird. What just happened? We have got a very odd team, though. I wasn't really expecting to win this. I was just going to give you guys my first impressions on Tyra and have some fun, which is what I've done. So I've kept my, my word. Oh, like, if you're at close range, I actually don't know who'd be, like, better than a Tyra. Oh, no. I'm one hit off. Nope, that was a waste. That was a waste. I am lagging all over the place. Holy crap. Oh, and, like, the little thing on the back of her gun spins as well. Who pushed that? <laughs> Wait, what's, the, what's he saying? Canessa kill Androx is not Fernando. Okay, I gotta agree with him there. She really shouldn't be going after the Fernando. Kinesa's job is kind of to take out him and Shaolin and Victor. Holy fuck, green banana. Or well, it's meant to be banana probably that's just cut off. Or not. No, it's just green banana. He's on a 17 streak. That man. Use... Oh, he's speaking Russian. Well, the Drogoth isn't being very nice, but the Eevee just probably said something nasty in Russian. Yeah, Drogoth isn't being very nice. I'm not going to take his side. I'm not going to take sides at all. This is none of my business. I'm just playing for fun. I'm just playing some video games. Let's go. I really wish I didn't get Master Riding, actually. Kind of wish I didn't go for Master Riding, but it's too late. It's too late to do anything about that now. See, it definitely goes... See, it looked like it landed here, and it went back there. That's actually kind of frustrating. I say kind of. It's incredibly frustrating. Oh, I can't do shit. I'm in a really bad spot right now. Oh, I missed that. Okay, we got him anyway. I'm gonna stop your streak, dude. I'm gonna try to at least. Who killed me? Oh, Charlin. I don't get... His animations are different. Okay. That looks really weird. It's like the kill cams are really buggy for some reason. Uh, let's get cauterized a little bit higher. Nice one, Knessa. Did she actually do good? There's four of them on the point. What the fuck? <laughs> There's four of them on the fucking point. What's going on? Oh, I'm trying my best here, but there's really not much I can freaking do. Ah, I can't do shit. There's four of them. They're going to win this. Uh, I'm going to go in and try, but not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay, well, that's the first time I've lost a Paladins match in a video for a while. So I think I get a little... I think it's this will be an exception more than like a rule. Oh, what's that? I'm hearing a weird buzzing noise. Is that from like my mixer? Is that... I think that's from the game. I'm not sure. I guess I'll see when... It'll either be in the video or not. What's he doing? That didn't look like he even hit her once. The kill cams need to be fixed a little bit because they're a bit off. Overall, cool though. So we had the best damage. We look absolutely fucking tiny. I didn't realize Tyra was so little. I don't know if maybe she zoomed out. But she looks absolutely minuscule to even, like, I guess Androx is meant to be tall. And <laughs> she just looks so little. Oh. 
Okay, this was a good match. I had most damage, most eliminations, top multi kills, top kill streak, top blank kills. This video should be going out around Christmas time, so I hope you guys have had a great holiday season if you're watching it later, or I hope you're enjoying it now if you're watching it when it's just come out. 16 to 9, we had the most credits on our team. I really don't know what that Eevee was doing. She went 5 and 9, the Mako went 3 and 9. The Kinesha actually did okay, even though she was Russian and stuff or whatever, that doesn't really matter. And the, the, the Drogoth was being a bit of a knob. Either way, I tried my best. Makoa did do his part in playing the objective, though, so i got to give him props for that. He was on the objective the second most in the entire match. And then I was, like, I was fourth. <laughs> That's a good game. I enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And also, let me know your thoughts on Tyrant in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear them. See you all very soon. And as always, stay frosty.